Hello! This video is about basics of creating HMI, Human Machine Interface. Let's start by creating a simple program which will perform thresholding and compute the image average for the created image. I also add the loop filter to make the program run continuously. Now let's check how the thresholded image looks for our different values of min value input. The program works as expected, but currently the end user would be unable to either control it or check its results. To be able to do this, we need to create an HMI. To start with this, you need to activate the HMI designer by clicking the button on the toolbar. This action activates the HMI controls catalog and HMI design area. The first thing you need to do is to drag the control you are planning to use to the HMI area. To display an image, you'll need the video box. There are several types of this control, but we are going to use the basic one. First thing we should do after adding every control is to connect its ports to the appropriate filters ports. In our case, I'm going to connect mono image output of the threshold image filter to the image input of the control. After connecting them, you can edit control look and behavior in the properties window. I'm going to change dock property to top and size mode to zoom to make the displayed image look better. If you wish to resize a control, you can do it directly in the HMI designer. To display some textual data, we need to add a label control. We also need to connect its text input with average value filter output. If we run the program now, we can see that both image and average value are displayed in the HMI and they are being updated after every change of input values of the threshold image filter. It is important to know that in the simple program like this, which consists of only one task macro filter, the synchronization of the filters with the HMI takes place only after every iteration. Ok, another thing we can do is to allow the user to control the threshold value from the HMI. Track bar control can be used for that purpose. I'll define the range of values returned by the track bar and connect it to the thresholding filter. It is important to remember that not all control sports are visible by default. To get an access to full list of inputs and outputs, right click on the control and select Edit Ports Visibility option. This list varies depending on the control, but for all of them it gives us significant amount of options to change the control behavior and look. It also allows us to respond to certain actions made with the control. For example, to the situation where the user clicks on the control. As you can see, the data can flow in both directions, so we can control our program from the HMI. It is nice to know that you can undock the HMI window, just like any other window, and move it freely on your screen. Moving it to the second monitor might be useful when working on more complex programs. Please remember that there are many other available HMI controls which can be used in your user interface. Feel free to explore the HMI controls catalog to find the ones that will suit you the best. And also check the link in the video description for the user manual article about HMI.